Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the QJ 3x3 Payload. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. So, as the name suggests, it is actually Payload, which is sort of a convex shape. Now, if you compare this to a normal cubic shaped uh, 3x3, you can see the difference. It's actually curved outside. Um, there are uh, concave cubes as well. Um, but there are only of two brands. Uh, one of, one of them is Z cube and one of them is concave. But that's not what we're here for. Uh, anyway, I got this from the SEMU store uh, for reviewing. Uh, I'm not really sure of the price, but I expect it to be really, really cheap. So this is the box that it came out with. Um, it's just a normal box with a hole in the front. Okay, so the out of the box feeling is pretty much like a Moyu Huaying. Now, if you've played with one, you know how noisy it is. Uh, y you can even hear it in this one. So, so if you take this cube outside and you play with it, um, people might just get disturbed if you're like in a library or in a metro or whatever. So. This is the uh, Mo Yu Li Ying, which is the successor of Mo Yu Hua Ying. And this is less noisier than the Hua Ying. I do not have a Hua Ying, that's why I'm showing you the Li Ying. You can see that it is uh, pretty much noisy, but not as noisy as the Hua Ying. So if I turn this, you can notice the difference. And one major issue of this payload cube is the popping of the center caps. The QBs don't pop, the center caps do. And speaking of one, it just did pop. And here's the center piece of it. So I don't know why this is happening. Uh, maybe because of the shape or maybe it's built like that. I mean, uh, the mechanism is not good enough for the pillowed, uh, to handle the pillowed shape. Um, so uh, anyway, the stickers on this cube are the standard Dian and Shang Shao shades which people find dull and boring but um, it's pretty okay for me my favorite shades are the Moyu shades but I, I'm not pretty much a big fan of the orange that come on the Moyu shades uh, anyway um, the stickers quality is not I mean they're sticking pretty well but I don't think they were put in properly in the production because some of the stickers aren't actually in the position like you can see it's actually shifted a bit to the right so uh, that's all for the stickers. Um, I don't. Uh, I've not really experienced chips, or uh, you know, none of them have come off till now. Uh, I've had this for like two weeks, I guess. Uh, the last time I did make an unboxing, I was playing around with this one. So the size uh, here is the size comparison to a Zanchi. So uh, this is a Ultimate Stock Zanchi. So if you uh, compare this to the QJ Pillow 3x3, you can notice the diff size difference. It's a bit smaller. Uh, so I guess it's like 56 millimeters, you could say, or 55. Uh, I I'll go with 55 millimeters because it has quite a difference. And this is the Moyu Liing. So I guess it is 55 millimeters, uh, including that bulge. So. Uh, the next is corner cutting. So corner cutting is a very big issue on this cube. I mean, it isn't uh, competition legal anyway, so I don't think all that thing mat uh, all that stuff matters. But I will uh, still be reviewing it. So the corner cutting. Watch what happens when I corner cut. Okay, nothing. It's not happening right now, but. Okay, yeah, look. That is what will happen if you try to corner cut. So basically this guy just hangs around there. It doesn't explode or it doesn't break. It will just hang and stick around there. But putting it back again is easy. And But when you put that back, the center thing, uh, the center cap will pop out. So that's uh, an interesting problem that this cube has. Um, I'm going to pop out the mechanism and show you what it looks like. So the inner structure is obviously the same as normal 3x3s. Uh, this is the standard Rubik's mechanism. But um, if you like extend this part out and extend this part out, it will just, uh, it will just become a, 
a normal cubic shape but it's just cut in that way to make it um, bulge out or to make it in a convex shape um, uh, this is the standard Rubik's mechanism as you can see but obviously the build and the build is better I guess that's what you would call it because the standard Rubik's uh, mechanism is really sucky I mean all of you must have been like most of you must have played with the normal Rubik's cube not the Rubik's speed cube but I'm actually talking about the Rubik's cube um, so yeah so the cube has never really popped on me but it does lock up sometimes and I'm just gonna perform one algorithm over here and watch so you can see that is an issue I will well, let's try this out once again so center cap popped out again that's a problem so yeah that's just <laughs> this cube has a lot of problems but it's an okay cube I wouldn't really recommend it um, if if you want to go for uh, your first cube or something I would not recommend this but if you just want to like, collect more cubes or have like a bulgy uh, you want to have a pillowed 3x3 and you do not want to go for v-cube because v-cube cubes are really expensive so if you want a pillowed cube uh, this one is pretty much an option you could go for because it should be really cheap I'm not really sure how, how much it would be for uh, so I'm just gonna do one solve here. I'm just gonna do one hands. Okay, wow, it just popped. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't even know how to put it back now. This way or that way. So I guess it does pop. I'm just gonna be doing one hand scrabble and then one solve. All right. So I'm looking through the camera right now. That's there. That's there. All right. So we could do this next we have this pair so as you can see the cube is not bad at all um, it is pretty fast but then once again as you can see it is locking up Alright, so I guess this is called the Y perm. Okay, and there you go. So, yeah, uh, it is a okay, it is a decent cube. Not that great, not that bad. It should be pretty cheap. So, once SCMU has this listed on their eBay store, I will be putting a link in the description. And I hope you liked the review. Uh, if I did miss out on something, please make sure I know. Uh, so if you want more unboxing, reviews and news related to cubing, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Have a nice day guys.